What is up jokesters? This is your big homie Jokesta back at it with a brand new video. Today we got Call of Duty Mobile season 13 coming out pretty soon and this is a video about the top five assault weapons for people that have crazy aim and they play really passive. This is a passive type of weapon list and honestly it blew my mind when Pat told me these top five and I was like no way. This is going to be the top five for season 13. That's crazy. So I'm actually happy where season 13 is actually going because previous video I talked about the most top five aggressive weapons and we talked about a bunch of them there was like the asm 10 the drh the bk 57 which is kind of crazy and especially the ak-47 so shout out to path for helping me out with this list as well you know he's kind of like hey this is the the best ones and this and this and that this link is going to be in the description down below so top number five on the list is the m16 it is top five people are actually kind of shocked that this is going to be top five i was shocked as well i did not believe it i didn't think it was going to be that crazy good but apparently in season 13 it's going to be really really good so here's something that you need to know if you have a really good aim m16 is technically better than the drh believe it or not it's better it has higher damage better range way better bsa and a lot faster ttk now believe it or not i don't like semi-burst weapons and that's the reason why a lot of people don't really like using the m16 but for this season 13 it's going to be a lot better it's going to be a better burst weapon um so give it a shot whenever you guys have a chance it's going to be really pretty interesting it's going to be good but it's going to be also very interesting it's just i don't know i don't like burst weapons in general like i might not use it but you know i might give it a shot once in a while you know whenever i'm streaming or something i might give it a shot it might be that good or something but yeah anyways here's the attachments that i'm rocking uh yeah, i got the red dot on there because i can't play without it anyways top four on the list is the peacekeeper now i couldn't go into the test server anymore i got kicked out there was just so many people there and i couldn't record any more gameplays they just like they didn't like me you know what i'm saying but it's okay we're gonna use the previous gameplay that we use in the our other videos um so yeah this is a peacekeeper peacekeeper is going to be top four on the lead list i said lead i don't know why it was just it's a weird tongue thingy but anyways yeah top four on the list is definitely peacekeeper it is one of a crazy weapon like it is a very nice weapon it's definitely for passive play style and you know i was thinking to myself is the hbr on the top four but no you know definitely peacekeeper is way better it's just solid it's a solid weapon you can do a lot of damage with it and also you can build really good attachments as well so yeah, the Peacekeeper is going to be kind of cracked weapon in Call of Duty Mobile for Season 13. If you guys want to try it out, definitely do that. Whenever you guys get the Battle Pass, it's going to be available pretty soon. And uh, yeah, like I would definitely recommend you guys grabbing that as soon as possible. It is going to be quite cracked. I said that a couple times now. I think I said it twice, but it's going to be really good. So yeah, definitely take your time. Try it out, build a really nice class for Peacekeeper. I'm gonna be making another video for the Peacekeeper eventually when the update comes out and building a better class because I figured out a better attachment that I'm not gonna really show right now, uh, but it's actually really good. So right now I'm just using a normal class that I have set up for this weapon. There's way better attachments for this gun for sure. And I honestly, I think there's so much stuff that you can do with the new weapons. I like it when they release new weapons because it makes the game so much more enjoyable. And as you guys watch this gameplay, I haven't died yet. So I, yeah, you know, like I got the nuke at the very end where there's only like two. Yeah, you guys hear that nuke somewhere there. It, it said you got a nuke, but then the game ended. But anyways, this is the attachments that I'm rocking for the Peacekeeper. It's not that bad. It's quite good. It's, it's all right. But anyways, top three on the list is the ICR. Believe it or not, I thought it would definitely be in top two for sure, but ICR is definitely cracked in season 13. A lot of people are going to be using it again, and it was kind of good when it was in season 11. Like, I seen it a lot in season 12, I think. It was just a lot of people using it, and I was like, man, it's, it's great, but it's also very annoying, you know? And at this point, it's, it's, got, it's gonna be there. It's gotta be, you know, top, top three on a list for sure, because at this point what are you gonna do you're gonna kick this thing out no it's it has really good range it's pretty solid there's no there's barely any recoil so if you're playing on a phone you probably uh you're gonna see this guy just peek you see like he was there i didn't see him 
But yeah, it's if you're playing on a phone, it's a lot easier to use the ICR. If you're playing on the iPad, it's just you don't feel a single thing with this thing. There's no recoil or whatever, you know. So yeah, I definitely think the ICR is going to be top three on the list, and so does so does Path. Path like yo, yeah, definitely ICR is gonna be in top three. So that is the top, you know, top five so far that we got the uh what's it called top five is the m16 the peacekeeper and now the icr so that's the top three for sure and honestly i don't blame it it's actually quite a good weapon it's no problems at all with this thing a lot of people are going to be complaining for sure when the season drops everyone's going to be like yo this thing is broken it's so annoying it is and it's going to be shown throughout the ranking so i'm definitely going to be probably using the icr over the last two weapons because i'm not that good with those weapons i actually am way better with the icr because i'm an aggressive type of player but anyways this is the attachments that i'm rocking it's kind of all right you know but anyways top number two man of war is actually going to be the top number two on the list so make sure you guys actually try it out when you go in ranking or whatever you do pubs or whatever man of war is going to be extremely good for people that have crazy aim now i'm talking about people that actually like let's say pros okay pros that play scrims or tournaments and stuff like that try the man of war it's definitely going to be crazy good if you have a precise aim people that have like crazy aims like we're talking about like aim bot type of thing man of war is going to be that weapon it's quite good like my aim is not there yet i would have to say my aim is about 70 percent accurate you know what i'm saying like it's not or maybe 60 or 70 but i'm saying people that have the range of 90 or maybe even 100 you know what i'm saying that would probably be even better but anyways you know it's definitely not an aggressive weapon it's more of a passive play style type of weapon so if if, if you're a passive player you don't like playing aggressive like for example i love playing aggressive but if you're like more of like stay back relax type of guy then this this is going to be a weapon for you this is a crazy crazy good weapon for long range as you guys can see i was i was just shooting that guy i was tap firing i'm not like fully spraying it down tap fire all the way baby and that's what we do all right we just tap fire this guy is so annoying like i've died to him so many times throughout this game <laughs> but it's whatever he's just enjoying life he's probably he's probably really happy with the hvk but glad that thing's gonna get nerfed but anyways this is the attachments that i'm actually rocking i'm rocking the mip strike stock huge suppressor gotta get that huge suppressor man laser tactical ranger foregrip now ranger foregrip is not good i'm just messing with it just trying to things out anyways top number one on the list is the lk24 baby it is actually making a comeback pretty cool comeback i'm talking about this is going to be one of the best guns in season 13 for passive players people that like to play passive this is going to be for you guys because this thing is quite cracked like it is actually that good in season 13 so i'm actually really happy that they're actually doing this because it's been quite a quite a while man the lk was all right in season 11 and season 10 but not a lot of people were using it a lot of people were trying to especially me like for example i was streaming a couple times i just couldn't get used to the lk 24 i played for hours like hours but in season 13 it's gonna be a little bit different they're gonna add some buff to it or something i don't know what it is but they're doing stuff to it to make the lk24 even better so if you have precise aim and you have a very passive type of mindset like you play passively then this weapon's for you because this is going to be for people that like to play really really slow and people that like to play really well actually just slow i guess and more of a passive style there can't be you know they don't play aggressive if you play search and destroy this might be the weapon honestly and if you have precise aim this weapon is definitely for you because this weapon is just going to be all about aim because my aim is about 70 percent, but i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have 90 percent aim and you guys just can kick people's butts then yeah this is the weapon definitely try it out in in, in scrims and tournaments and rank matches search and destroy is another weapon because i mean search and destroy is another mode that you guys can, might be playing with these passive weapons you know thinking about it i think search and destroy is, might be a good way to put this video you know this is for people that play a lot of search and destroy but anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to slap a like comment down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one